Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 69, Scheduled Tasks, Running with Cron Job. In this episode, you'll learn what is a cron job, what is the cron format, and how to set up a Rails rake task as a cron job. If you'd like to code along, you can clone the Ruby Thursday example app with this branch. That's our previous Ruby Snack, Ruby Snack number 68. We're not dealing with the app code in this episode, but if you wanted to clone the app to deploy it to a server and then test out a cron job, you could do that. What is a cron job? According to Wikipedia, the software utility cron is a time-based job scheduler in Unix-like computer operating systems. People who set up and maintain software environments use cron to schedule jobs, commands, or shell scripts to run periodically at fixed times, dates, or intervals. Cron jobs are used for scheduling tasks to run on the server. So in a previous episode, we created a rake task. Now we're using cron to schedule that task. Here is the format that you can write to say when a cron job should run. It's kind of tricky. The stars mean any value. So if you put all stars, it would happen every minute. The first star you can change to designate which minute. Of course, it's 0 through 59. The second star you could change to say which hour, 0 through 23. The third star is day of the month, 1 through 31. The fourth star is month of the year, 1 through 12. The fifth star is day of the week, and you could set that to 1 through 7, and this is when you have to really look up and remember 1 stands for Monday. And then the final star is for the year in a range of 1900 through 3000. That would be fun to set up a cron job to run in the year 3000. Perhaps then we will have starships. Now here's an example for setting a cron job to run every Wednesday at 12 o'clock noon. It uses the 24 hour clock. So it would be zero, so that would be the zero minute of the 12th hour. It's on any day of the month and any month of the year, but it is on the third day of the week. Now you'll see there's not another star. That is an option. You don't have to set the year. Now let's put it into action. Let's set up a cron job on a server. You would SSH into whatever server you're using. Then you would run the command cron tab e. If you don't already have a file created, it will create one for you. Then for a Rails task, the format is the cron format to say when it happens, then cd into the app root, then the path to the bundle, that could be different for you, exec, rake, and then the name of the task. So for our task on my server, it's 012 star star 3 for every Wednesday at 12, cd into ver www, Ruby Thursday, and then current, that's the root of the app, then to find the bundle, I actually cd'd into my app and ran which bundle, and that gave me user local bin bundle, and then exec rake, and we have a task called newsletters colon from the bridge. Let me briefly take you through this task. Here I am SSHing into my server. Now I'm going to run cron tab dash e, and I didn't have a file, so I'm deciding which editor to use. I'll use nano. And then it opens up the file, and it has some information there for you. But I'll go ahead and paste in what we already set up. Now let me show you that it's all one line. It needs to be all one line. So it could be a very long line, depending on the name of your task. So it show you how it's all there. Then you would control X and hit Y if you're using Nano. And there you go. It's all set up. Here are some additional resources you can check out, more information on cron format, and then there's actually a generator where you can go and put in the information and it'll give you the format for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up to get some awesomeness in your inbox. If you are not subscribed on YouTube, click that big ruby right there and there's some other videos you may want to check out. If you have any comments or questions, best to leave that on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.